What's up guys? I've had this Omega production sample for almost a week now. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. First up, something that I said in the preview video may actually be wrong. The clear O-ring that goes on the pusher, which I said gives a better seal, mine's actually broken off and it flew across the yard with a worker dart in front of it and it's broken. So I decided to put on the black O-ring, which is meant to be more durable, but give a less seal and discovered it actually gives a better seal, so I don't know if Singapore's climate has something to do with that compared to Australia but the black nylon o-ring is giving me a better seal um, I'll put some chronograph numbers up with the 8 kilo spring but <laughs> it's actually performing better than the alpha kit 11 fps variation from the lowest to highest numbers and that was with like 24 shots and yeah the alpha kit gets like 13 so there's that Second, I don't know if the helmet cam's pointing at that or not, but I've got the Zero on instead of the Blaster Tech Scar. And I'm actually finding that with Omega and with Worker Darts, we're getting superior accuracy with the Zero compared to the Blaster Tech 16mm Scar. And that I'm going to demonstrate now. The target will be that barrel, which is 100 feet away measured from uh, this fire pit here and I honestly don't think it will be possible for us to miss Did I hit the bottom? So let's, let's aim a bit higher Hit A little bit short, but it was in line with it. Hit. Hit. In line with it, short. There we go. So with the Zero, we're losing some of the shots to probably bad gluing of the heads. And that's a given with worker dots. Now I finally get to use this thing on Sunday, because we have a 180 FPS maximum Nerf War at the Glenunga High School. So I'll be running this with an 8 kilo spring. With the Zero, lowers it down below 180. Keep an eye out for some videos next week. As always, thanks for watching.